Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of area and perimeter. This is standard 4.5D in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 10 off the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have Keith and he's making a rectangular sign. The only clue we have is that it is a perimeter of 48 inches. And then we just need to figure out which one of these could have that perimeter of 48 inches. Well, we need to know that the perimeter is the outside. So think of that word rim that sits inside a perimeter. It always makes me think of like a basketball rim and you've got the net hanging down but the rim is that metal piece and it goes around the outside area is the inside we're not really looking for that we're looking for the rim the perimeter that goes around the outside how do we find the perimeter of a rectangle well we're going to get an equation if we look on our answer document it's going to be 2l plus 2w that means we double the length and double the width and then add those two products together so let's just get started with F, and we can just see what that looks like. So F, we're going to double the length, so I'm going to show that with a 2 parentheses. That's going to represent my multiplication. I'm just going to double the length of 16, double the length of 32, add those two together. So let's see, if we double 16, you actually get 32 you double 32, you get 64. Wow, you actually get something pretty big. That's 96. Now I can tell you that this is going to be obviously incorrect, but if you take a look at 16 and 32, if you just add 16 and 32, you know what you're gonna get? You will actually get 48. So this is incorrect, but it's probably one of the most chosen incorrect answers because if you don't double the length and width you can actually find 48 inches but here's the problem that 48 is only measuring half of this rectangle that's why this 96 is actually twice as big as 48 so that's incorrect because it only measures half now g we actually have a different perimeter i'm going to put a p sub s because that shows me we're dealing with the perimeter of a square and all you do, you don't double the length, double the width. You could, but the length and width are exactly the same. You end up just taking the side length and you multiply it by four. So I'm gonna take my four sides, multiply that by 12 inches each. Four times 12, that gets me 48. Just to show you, we can still do this one if we wanted to. We can do double the length plus double the width. So double 12 plus double 12, that's going to equal 24 plus 24, that still equals 48. Either one works, but that's looking pretty good. So I'm pretty sure G is my answer, which means we need to make sure H and J are incorrect. So this is going to be perimeter equals, go back to our rectangular one, double the length, double the width. So let's say we're going to double four, we're going to add double 12. So 2 times 4, that's going to equal 8. 2 times 12 is 24, and that's 32. Yeah, just not quite enough. 32 inches. And I can already tell you this is going to be too much, because take a look at this. This is 48 by itself. So not only is that uh, just one side length, we've got to double it, then we've got to get that 2 inches. That's just not going to work. Let's just double check. P equals double the length plus double the width. So 2 times 2, that's going to be easy. But now we've got to do 2 times 48, double that. So that's 2 times 2 is 4. 48 times 2, double that, that's going to be 96. Oh, so that's going to make a nice even 100 inches. Way too long. So that's not going to work, neither is H. Our answer is actually that square, G.